This is a Google spreadsheet. I'm gonna click on the switch and connect it directly to ChatGPT. Now I can type equal AI and my spreadsheet will open up ChatGPT in the background, run the prompt and return my answer right into the cell. Then when I drag the cell, it will run the same prompt on the rest of the rows. Wait, how is this possible? Well, technically, this is not supposed to be possible. You see, for the past year, myself and a team of developers have built a Chrome extension called Ultra that upgrades ChatGPT to be able to do real work, like build multi-step prompt flows to generate entire massive projects with just one click, or have ChatGPT brainstorm with itself and build custom prompt libraries to automate every aspect of your life. Then we also unlocked a way for ChatGPT to break out of the chat window and write your emails, work inside your documents, talk to YouTube videos, and be your assistant across the web. But when it came time to connect ChatGPT to spreadsheets, we were totally stuck. This is because there's no way for a Chrome extension to communicate with the data inside Google Sheets. The only way to process any data from a Google Sheet is to connect with some sort of API, and a Chrome extension is not an API. My developers literally said, Vlad, this is not possible. Let's move on. When I hear that something is not possible, that actually motivates me 10 times more to find a way to make it work. This is when I got an absolutely insane idea. Why don't we just create a fake API that would act as a bridge between our Chrome extension and Google Sheets? They would think that they're talking to an API, but really this API's only purpose is to pass information back and forth to our Chrome extension. This crazy hack actually worked. Now let's take a look at some examples and see why it's so powerful. So here we have a Google Sheet that we would like to manipulate with ChatGPT. Uh, first thing you wanna do if you wanna use ChatGPT is press this little switch here uh, where it says Ultra. As soon as you do that, our system is gonna go ahead and connect this Google Sheet with ChatGPT using our Bridge API. So this takes a few seconds and while it's loading, it's connecting in the background. And when it's connected, you'll see this little uh, switch turn blue. So you'll know that it's connected. So now when you press this, you're gonna get these formulas here, this one and this one. This is the one you wanna use uh, most of the time. So you can just paste that in right here and then uh, write what you want to do with the cell. So if it's cell A2, you would do A2. If it's A, if it's A3, then it's A3. In this case, it's A2. But what we want to do here is uh, we want to create a headline for each one of these keywords. So these are keywords that uh, we've gotten from a competitor and we know they're performing really well. Now we want to make a blog post for each one of these, uh, a blog post that's going to perform well for SEO. So you go over here, I'm going to paste in this formula. And it says, write me a high CTR headline for an article that targets this keyword. And the keyword is A2 over here. And then I'm gonna press enter. And in the background, it's gonna be running this prompt inside your chat GPT right behind this window. So there's that headline. And as you can see, it was done in chat GPT. Let me just close this. I'm gonna move that here so that you can see it running in the background. Let's make it a bit smaller. And we're gonna make this a little smaller here so you can see these running. And now when I wanna do the rest of them, all I need to do is just drag this down and it's gonna perform that same exact prompt on all the, uh, all the other keywords. So I just drag it down and you'll start seeing it working on the right side, working on all those keywords. So it's creating those headlines. And as it's doing that, it's gonna start filling everything in. You see it fills those in and it just works on the rest until it completes the entire task. And the beauty about this, it's not using any kind of API. This is literally using your chat GPT account in the background behind your browser window to automate your spreadsheet. So it's almost done, just a few more left. And as soon as uh, those finish, it loads it in and then there's just one left and now they're all done. As you can see, everything is done. And anytime you were to change any of these, it will automatically go back to ChatGPT and redo that task because now the keyword changed. So let's say I wanna change this to top noise canceling headphones. I press enter. And as you can see, it's gonna go right into ChatGPT and change that headline and that's done. Another thing I would recommend is after you 
are done your tasks and you've used ChatGPT to fill in your columns, I would do something called a special paste uh, of the data so that when you come back in a few days, you, you make sure that none of this data is lost. So what I would do is uh, copy and then I would paste it with paste special values only. So what this does is it removes that connection of that data from ChatGPT so that in a few days from now, when you come back, it's not going to have to regenerate all those things because Google Sheets has this tendency of regenerating things after a few days if you leave them as is. So that's why I do this paste special values only. And now when I click this, these are just values. They're not connected to ChatGPT anymore. So if I come back to the spreadsheet in a few days, I'm not going to have a problem where all of these are going to start regenerating again because that's just the way Google Sheets work. If you have data connected some, to some API, it's gonna to try to update that data every once in a while to make sure it's the latest data. But in this case, since we already got this data done, there's no need for us to keep updating it and using up our chat GPT credits. So I would just do a copy paste of that data with a, a values only paste. Okay, next thing, uh, employee feedback. So here we have some employee feedback. We wanna get a summary of it, the sentiment of it, and a reply to each employee. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, first I'm gonna do summary. So I'm gonna ask uh, ChatGPT over here to tell me what is the feedback regard, uh, regarding, uh, regarding in two to three words max. I'm just press enter. And as, as you can see, it tells you exactly what it is. And I could just stretch that here and it's gonna get to work doing the rest of them. Okay, these are done. Next thing is um, sentiment. So you want to see if the feedback is positive, negative, or neutral. Press enter. It's going to look up that data in ChatGPT. This is positive. I'm going to stretch this out. And this is really great if you're exporting some kind of data from a CRM or some other kind of software so that you can quickly analyze it within your spreadsheet without having to copy paste things back and forth. Okay, these are all done. Now we want to have a nice reply that we can send back to these employees for sending the feedback. So we're going to put in, uh, write me a two sentence, nice reply for the feedback and acknowledge the feedback and promises action. So we have that feedback written and now we're going to write feedback for the rest of the rows. As you can see, chat GPT is writing the feedback and everything's going to start getting filled in. There you go. Incredibly useful. Everything is just filled in exactly the way we'd want it. Next example is uh, baby shower gifts. So you got a bunch of names here and what the gift was. And if and you want to write a thank you message to each person and uh, customize it with what the gift was about. This is a little bit of a different formula since we're using two, uh, two sets of data from two columns. So as you can see, I'm using A2 and B2 in here. So write me a two uh, sentence thank you note to A2, which is the name for giving me the following baby shower gift, B2, which is the gift. Press enter, it writes it right here, and it loads right away. We stretch uh, that cell down, and it's gonna start loading the rest of the data. And all those are filled in, that's all done. So we have a thank you message for each one of these. Next one is review feedback. So this can be exported from a Shopify store or anything else. You wanna quickly reply to all these. You can just have a simple formula. Write me a two sentence nice reply for the following testimonial. Got the feedback done, stretch it out. Now it's gonna write feedback for the rest of them. And just like that, it's all filled out. Another common use case would be addresses. Let's say you're exporting a list of orders and you have addresses with all kinds of messed up formatting. This could work for any kind of formatting where you'd wanna fix it to a specific format. So I'm gonna have ChatGPT just fix the formatting so that it's uh, set up correctly for shipping. So it's gonna do that first one and then I'm gonna stretch it out and do the rest of them. So you got that one done. We confirm that that's what we want. Stretch it out. And now ChatGPT is gonna get to work doing the rest of the addresses. And now all our addresses are fixed and perfect. And then last thing I wanna show you is phone numbers. Let's say you wanna fix all these phone numbers. So again, they're correct, uh, formatted correctly so that we can use them somewhere. Put in our prompt to fix the phone number so it follows proper formatting. Press enter, then we stretch this down and now all the phone numbers are formatted correctly. 
And this just shows the power of using ChatGPT and spreadsheets. You can do all kinds of data manipulation, you know, fixing data, all kinds of very interesting things to enrich your uh, data inside Google Sheets. Uh, and this is a total game changer for using ChatGPT. Now you're probably wondering, how much is it gonna cost me to upgrade my ChatGPT with Ultra? I mean, here's software that just unlocks ChatGPT and spreadsheets. If you click on pricing, you can see they charge $19 a month. This is literally just one of dozens and dozens of features we have with Ultra. So you're probably thinking we charge $50 a month or even $100 a month. The reality is actually exactly the opposite. My goal with the software is to make using AI for work accessible to as many people as possible. This is why for people watching this video today, we are setting up a special discount link. You can get Ultra for $37 a year instead of a much higher regular price by going to getultra.ai slash get or by clicking the link in the description. Once you get Ultra, upgrading your ChatGPT is just a one-click Chrome extension install. You will see your ChatGPT instantly transform and get all this new functionality. I'm looking forward to getting your feedback on the software and hearing about all the amazing things you guys are doing with it.